In this video, we're going to explore the addition and subtraction postulates of both line segments and angles. And hopefully a lot of what we do in this video will be very intuitive and come naturally to you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. They give us this uh, nice picture, and they're asking us in number one or in the very first one to figure out what the length of or the distance between points A and G plus the distance between points G and D is equal to. So if I go to the picture, the distance between points A and G is going to be represented by the purple line segment, the distance between G and D by the green line segment, and the sum of those two, because point G lies on the same straight line in between points A and D, the distance or the sum of the two can be represented by the distance between points A and D. We can approach each of these in a similar fashion. In the very next one, if we take a look at the first piece, the distance between points B and D. The second point is the distance between points D and E, which will make the whole thing the distance between points B and E. We're going to approach the third one exactly the same way. The distance between points G and D is represented by that purple segment. The distance between points D and E is represented by the green line segment. And this time, something kind of interesting happens. Because D is not in between points G and E, or in other words, because point D does not lie, or points G, D, and E do not lie on the same straight line, for this one, we cannot come up with a segment that represents that sum. So this one would be a no answer, not applicable, cannot be answered. The next few have to do with subtraction, and they all work very similarly, with the idea being that all three points have to be on the same straight line, or that one point has to lie in between the other two. So the next one says if we take segment BD, which I just represented by the green segment, and subtract out the piece that's represented by C and D, what piece are we left with? Well, that's piece BC. And we can approach the others very similarly. If we take CF, and from segment CF, we subtract away the piece that's represented by CG, what piece are we left with? Well, we're left with the piece in between points G and F. And then lastly, if we take the piece represented by, or the distance between points E and E, which would be the whole bottom, and we take away the piece that's represented by the distance between points B and C, we're left with the piece that starts at C and ends at E. Not only can we do this for line segments, but we can also do it for angles. And of course, in order to do it for angles, the angles would have to have a shared side. So in this first one, they want us to take angle BAD, and they want us to add to that angle DAF. And if we put those two together, we end up with either angle FAB or angle BAF. They're both the same angle. So it might help to have uh, or do these with some pencils so that you can write down on your paper and then erase. The next one says take angle AGC. So angle AGC is represented by the purple angle in my picture. Angle FGA, which is represented by the green angle. And if we put the two together, we're going to end up with the straight angle GCF. And then in the last one, we want to put angle BCG, so that's that blue one, together with angle FCE. So if we put the blue one together with the green one, we're going to end up with the straight angle BCG. D. Or another name for that angle would be B, C, E, however you want to name it. And then lastly, we're going to do the same thing with subtraction. So we're going to start with some big angles and subtract some pieces away. So if we start with angle A, F, E, and we take away from that E, F, C, so if we take the blue piece away from the purple piece, the piece that remains is going to be A, F, G.
Then again, I'm going to go subtract so that I can work each of these separately. Next one I'm going to start with is angle BAF. And from that, I want to take away angle DAF. So if I take the blue piece away, the piece that I'm left with, or the part that I'm left with, is the part represented by the blue angle, angle BAD. And then lastly, I'm going to do the same approach for that last question, angle BCD. So angle BCD is the straight angle. From that, I want to subtract angle FCB. So angle FCB is the part represented by the green. That would leave me with the part represented by blue, angle FCE. All right, let's go ahead and see how we might use some algebra to solve some of these types of questions. It says, suppose point M is in between points L and N. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture. It doesn't say that point M is the midpoint, so I'm just going to put it somewhere in between those points on the same straight line segment. And they're telling us use the segment addition postulate in order to solve for x and find the length of each segment. So it says the distance between points L and M is 8x minus 3. The distance between points M and N is 12x subtract 5. And the length of the entire segment is 112. Well, looking at the nice picture that I've drawn here, I know that if I put piece LM together with piece MN, the result that I'm going to end up with is the whole thing, LN. So I can write a nice equation that says 8x subtract 3 plus 12x subtract 5 has to so sum or total to the whole thing, which is 112. So now if I go ahead and combine like terms, I end up with 20x's subtract 8 equals 112. Adding 8 to both sides tells me that 20x is now equal to 120. And dividing both sides by 20 tells me that x is equal to 6. So to find the distance between L and M, I'm simply going to go substitute in a 6 in place of the X, making the distance between points L and M 45. To find the distance between points M and N, I'm going to do the same thing, substitute in 6 in place of the X. And I'm just going to plug this whole thing into my calculator. And a quick check, if I've done this correctly, when I total those two together, I should end up with 112, which I do. So there's a nice example using the segment addition postulate. Now I'm going to do one using the angle addition postulate here in number two. It tells me that the measure of angle D, B, C, so that's that red angle right in there, can be represented by 3x plus 7. The measure of angle ABC, so that's the little blue guy in there, can be represented by 5x subtract 2. And the whole big kahuna can be represented by 61 degrees. And just looking at this tells us our picture is not drawn to scale. In fact, it's a rather lousy picture, but it'll be enough to get the job done. Looking at the picture, I can tell if I put the red angle together with the blue angle, I'm going to end up with the green one. So 3x plus 7 plus 5x subtract 2 has to sum or total to 61 degrees. So when I combine like terms on the left side, I end up with 8x plus 5 equals 61. Subtracting 5 from both sides tells me that 8x's are equal to 56. And lastly, dividing both sides by 8 tells me the value of x in this case is equal to 7. To find the measures of the angles, I'm simply going to go substitute back in. So measure of angle DBC is going to be 3 times 7 plus 7, or in other words, 28 degrees. The measure of angle ABC is going to be 5 times 7 subtract 2, or in other words, 33 degrees. And a quick check here, 28 plus 33 should give me the total of 61. 
and it does, and that tells me that I've done the problem correctly. Okay, so as always, I want you to think about what you've seen and what are the key ideas, the important understandings that you need to take away with you from this video. And then once you've done that, see if you can apply what you've learned to solve the questions on the following page.